All right, good morning, everybody. We're back on to fractions again. Welcome to lesson 96. We're using reciprocals to divide fractions. So, a little bit of review because we've talked about it in an earlier lesson. When dividing fractions, you have two rules. You want to change divide to times, and we said we flip the second fraction. And when you flip or invert a fraction, it's called writing its reciprocal. The only time you flip or invert or write a reciprocal of a fraction is when you are dividing. I see some people out there trying to flip fractions when it starts off as a multiplication problem. Only when dividing do you write a reciprocal. So if you're starting off with 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds, change divide to times and write the reciprocal of the second fraction. Instead of 2 over 3, you're going to multiply it by 3 over 2. Another thing we want to talk about with reciprocals, if you're asked just to write a fraction's reciprocal, leave it as an improper fraction unless asked otherwise. So if they're asking you what the reciprocal of three-fourths would be, they want you to answer four-thirds. Don't simplify it out to one and one-third. And the last little thing I want to tell you about reciprocals today is the product, you know, the answer when you multiply, of any number times its reciprocal is always going to be one. If you had three-fourths, and you multiplied it by the reciprocal of 3 fourths, so you'd write 4 over 3. Well, 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 3 is 12. Try it with any fraction. The product of any fraction times the reciprocal is always going to give you the same numerator and denominator, which is always going to equal 1. So, We'll kick it off with something kind of easy right now where they're asking us to write the reciprocal. So we're just going to flip it upside down. Instead of 4 fifths or 4 over 5, I'll just go ahead and write 5 over 4. Check out the next one, 2 thirds, 2 over 3. Just go and flip it upside down to write the reciprocal. Instead of 2 over 3, I'll have 3 over 2. But now for a somewhat of a trickier one, the whole number 10. How am I going to flip that upside down if I don't have a denominator? Well, if you remember from a previous lesson, any whole number can be written as a fraction with a denominator of 1. So first you got to give it 1 for a denominator and then you would flip it upside down. So instead of 10 over 1, if I wrote its reciprocal, I'd have 1 over 10, otherwise known as 1 tenth, right? And this is review also. If we were trying to go back to second grade and talk about 6 divided by 2, they're really trying to find out how many 2's are in 6, right? And I've said this before, the RN number is your dividend. So that would be the first number, right? And the how many number in this question is your divisor, the second number. If I want to know how many 2's are in 6, I'm actually asking, what's 6 divided by 2? So now that we know that, we might run into a whole lot more problems like this, like how many three-fifths are in two? So the RN number is your dividend, your first number. So I have obviously two, but how am I going to write two as a fraction? Any whole number can be written as a fraction with a denominator of 1. So instead of 2, I'm going to write it 2 over 1. 
I want to change divide into times, right? That's the first step when I'm dividing. And then my divisor is three-fifths right now, but I want to go and write its reciprocal. Instead of three over five, I want to write it five over three. Two steps only when you're dividing. Multiplying, you just do straight up numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Only when you're dividing do you have to do these steps. So now that I have it set up as a multiplying problem, I just go numerator times numerator, two times five, hey, that's going to give me 10. Denominator times denominator, one times three, that's going to give me three. But I'm not out of the woods yet because I have an improper fraction here, right? I have to simplify it. How many times does 3 divide into 10? 3 whole times, right? It would multiply back for 9. 3 times 3 is 9, and 10 minus 9 is 1. That's what we were doing on that last mental math quiz, right? So 10 thirds is really equal to 3 and 1 third. Check out this one. How many one-thirds are in three-fourths? So again, the R in, that's your dividend, your first number. So I want to start with three-fourths. And my two rules for dividing is change divide into times. And I want to write the reciprocal of the second fraction, the how many is the divisor, the second fraction? So instead of 1 over 3, let's write the reciprocal, flip them upside down, and let's go 3 over 1. So now that I have it set up properly, now I can just go numerator times numerator. 3 times 3, that's going to give me 9. Denominator times denominator, 4 times 1, that's going to give me 4. But again, I'm not out of the woods yet because I have an improper fraction. How many times does 4 divide into 9? That would be 2 whole times, right? 2 times 4 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1, so 9 fourths is really equal to 2 and 1 fourth. Okay, so they changed the language a little bit here, but the concept remains the same. How much of 1 fourth is in 3 fifths? The is in or the are in is still the dividend, your first fraction you're going to write down. So I'm going to write down 3 fifths, and now I have to go and change divide into times and write the reciprocal of the second fraction of the divisor. So instead of 1 over 4, I want 4 over 1, right? 4 is going to be my numerator. One's going to be my denominator because it's the reciprocal. I flipped it upside down. Now that I have it all set up, I just go numerator times numerator. Three times four, hey, that's 12. Denominator times denominator. Five times one, that's going to give me five. So I have a fraction of 12 over 5. Not out of the woods yet because that's an improper fraction, right? 5 divides into 12 two whole times. 2 times 5 is 10, so 12 minus 10 gives you 2 left over, right? All that practice on the mental math quiz is what we were working for when it came time for this. So 12 fifths is really equal to two and two fifths. Hold on, we're still not done yet. Remember, 
any whole number can be written as a fraction if it has a denominator of 1. So if I'm starting off this problem 1 fourth divided by 2, and I'm trying to figure out how to start it off, you got to start this 2 with a whole number of 1 before you start thinking about writing its reciprocal. So now that I have that whole number with a denominator of 1, I get ready, and I'm just going to change divide into times, right? And write the reciprocal of my second fraction. Instead of 2 over 1, I want to write them as 1 over 2. Probably the easiest fraction multiplying problem we've had today. Numerator times numerator. 1 times 1 is 1. Denominator times denominator. 4 times 2, that's going to give us 8. So 1 fourth times 1 half, hey, that's 1 eighth. And one more. Again, remember, any whole number can be written as a fraction if you give it a denominator of 1. So instead of 3, I got to think of this guy as 3 over 1. And I still want to write them as 3 over 1 because that is the first fraction. My rules for dividing change divide into times and write the reciprocal of the second fraction. So instead of 1 over 4, I better write this guy as 4 over 1, right? Once I have it all set up correctly, numerator times numerator, 3 times 4, that's going to give us 12. Denominator times denominator, 1 times 1, that is 1. But do I want to leave a fraction as 12 over 1? Hopefully you know how many times does 1 divide into 12. That would be 12 whole times, right? Because any time a fraction has a denominator of 1, it equals the whole number, whatever you have for the numerator. And that, my friends, is the end. You're definitely going to want to scratch a piece of paper and a pencil and make sure you do Lesson 96. We are skipping over Lesson 95, and the lesson being assigned is 96. Good luck. I'm ready to be